Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these cute Dollar Tree DIY tea light votive holders. These were quite fun to personalize and very easy to put together. I used some wax melts from Walmart and Dollar Tree tea lights. I will leave all of my supplies listed below in the description box. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up if you love this video. Now let's get started. So I've made these dollar store tea lights before and I absolutely love them. I love giving them out as gifts. These are the ones that I used previously and they sold really well for me at uh, the two stores that I'm in. So I'm going to show you really quick how to do these. You can use any design you want. Like I was asking Emma, my daughter who always helps me, you know, which ones did you like? And specifically she said the moose before I even showed it to her. So I only have three unfortunately. So I'm going to do one with the moose. I think this one together we make a family. I think that's really beautiful. And then I also like this one family is everything. So I'm actually going to get rid of these two and also this one. So I'm going to work with these three. So the size for my tea light that I know that works is a three by two. So this one I already changed. So I just went up here and change it to be a three by two. So I'm going to do the same with this one. It's already unlocked. So I'm just going to go up here and change this to be three by two. And I know that's going to be the perfect size for my tea light. And then the same thing with this guy. I don't know if I really want to shrink him up. I'm actually going to duplicate him just in case I don't like how he is and if he's skewed. So I'm going to unlock it up here and then change it to be 3 by 2 and see what that looks like. Yeah, he looks a little skinny to me. I don't really like this one. So I'm glad I made a duplicate. So these three I'm going to do. The one with this one, I'll show you really quick, is two pieces. So the hearts come separately. And I really like that because I can have it black and then I can have the red too. So the only thing I have left to do is just change the color. And I think I'm going to leave this guy black the way it is and not write anything on it. Just leave it how it is. And the family is everything. I know I'm going to change the color. I kind of like like a rose gold color. I think that would be really pretty. So I'm going to change that to this color. And then... I'm actually liking the black and the red together. Um, I do have some of those uh, scented candles from Walmart. I think it came with like six or eight of them for 99 cents. So whatever color I have, I'll just go off of that. So that's pretty much it with this. This was a really simple one to do. So I'm just going to go to make it. And I'm going to show you what it looks like really quick. So here are the two first ones that I have. And then here's the pink one. And then here are the red hearts. So basically the only thing I have to do is cut this out. So I'm going to click continue and I'm going to show you which setting I like to use. If you guys know me and you watch my channel, I always talk about it. I don't like Cricut brand, but that might just be me. So I just use this stencil vinyl here and I just use whatever's on sale on Amazon. So I, I'm using a 651 vinyl. It's a permanent vinyl. You want to make sure you use permanent. And all the times that I've burned these, I've never had any melting or any problems with this because you're using a little tea light so it doesn't get too hot on the sides. So always make sure that you're using a permanent vinyl for this. So I'm going to click on this one. My fine point blade is in already and all I have to do is load my mat and put on my put my vinyl on and load my mat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll cut all of these out and then I'll show you what my little tea light holder looks like and how to apply. Alright, so I finished cutting out this and I weeded it, so this is what it looks like. I already put the three little hearts on. You can see Emma over there. Wave, Emma. I can't see your hand. Wave down further. <laughs> well, Emma's over there crafting with me. Um, so here is these two ones. I already did this one. I just want to show you what it looks like. So I put a little bit of jute on the top here. I put the mousse on and then I have these smelly things. This smells absolutely amazing. And then I have this little tea light that just goes right in here. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. But I thought that was really cute. Also another thing I wanted to show you guys is they have these at the dollar store. They are so cute. So I'm thinking on either taking like a black marker or Emma said some glitter and going on here and just marking a little bit of black on it just to give it a little bit a extra color but I thought I would try this too put some jute around the top like the other one and then find like I don't know like a yellow or uh, even orange color um, wax candle piece 
So I bought these from uh, Walmart. They were a dollar each for all this whole pack, and they smell absolutely amazing. When I opened my box, it just was a huge hit of great smell. So they're going to look like this when they're all finished. I really like how these turned out. Whoops, lost my candle. So it's very quick and easy to put together. So I'm just going to start with together. We make a family really quick. So I'm just using some transfer tape here, and I'm trying to pull it off. There we go. And I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to use my scraper and scrape it onto the transfer tape really well. And then before I pull that off, um, the first thing you want to do is clean this really well. So I have a cotton ball, and then I'm just taking some alcohol, and I'm putting a little bit of alcohol on here. And I'm cleaning the surface where I'm going to be putting the file. You want to make sure that you clean it really well. Anytime you use any kind of vinyl, you want to clean your surface really, really well. So it takes like 30 seconds for this to dry, but it, it really goes a long way. So while that sits there for a second, I'm going to work on my file. So I have it like this. I always flip my files over so I can kind of work backwards and make sure I don't peel anything up. It just seems to work a lot better. And when I have a curved surface of any kind, I always like to take my scissors and just do little random lines in here. And that will help it go around your, um, you know, your project, whatever you're using, a little bit easier. So this should be dry now because it takes about 30 seconds. You kind of want to eyeball it to know where the middle is. So there's four holes up here. I'm kind of going to start right in the middle and I'm going to go up as high as I possibly can. So right in between those. And then once you get it where you want it, just want to take your time and use your finger and just push it. And this is where the um, cuts really come in handy. So you can see it here. I can play around with it and make this straighter now rather than if I didn't have these cuts, they wouldn't go on very well. So I'm just going to put this up. I think I'm going to work with the together part first, and then I'll take that off. And then I can place the other words on a little bit easier. So I'm just taking the top part off quickly, and then I can work with the second part a little bit easier. So once I get this on, now I can put the make, because it looks like the make is down a little bit further. So you can play around with this and just make it nice and even how it goes. And now I'm going to push the family, and I'm, I want the make it to be down a little bit farther. So I'm going to hold on to that, but I'm going to put the family down. It's always harder to work on a curved surface because it's never going to be straight. So now I have We Make Yet. So I'm going to go ahead and place that over here so that it wasn't touching the other parts. So there, just like this. I swear it's not really this difficult, but because it's a curved surface, it just makes it a little bit harder to get it all on straight. So here we go. Together, we make a family. Can I see? Oh, I like that. I'm going to have to see it. So there. So I do have a little gap right here that I'm going to work on. There's a couple ways to do this. You can just use your finger and kind of push it down, or you can use a hair dryer and make it warm, and then that'll warm up your vinyl. Or you can use a pin. I choose not to use a pin. I don't want anything putting holes in here, so I'm just going to work with it for a little bit. I missed a piece there. I'm going to work with it for a minute and just push that down so I get that nice and flat. Then I'm going to take my jute that I have here. I bought this at Walmart. I think it was a couple of dollars. And I'm just going to start with the end. Oops, sorry, hit my camera. I'm going to start at the end, and what I like to do is start at the front here and take both ends and twist them. So I'm twisting it this way, then I'm going to twist the other one, then I'm going to go, and now this little guy is here on the end. But the purpose of that is so I can just go over him several times. So I'm just twisting over that last little piece there. That way you don't have to glue it or put anything down there. So you can put as much or as little as you want here. I like to put a whole bunch. And then once you get it, cut a piece at the end. And I made it big enough here so that I can, I'll show you. So instead of using glue, I just go under one of these other pieces and I kind of tuck it in. So I just found a piece. And I'm going to tuck it under this one. You can use glue if you want, but I'm really trying not to use glue on here. So there, just like that. So now both of these pieces are tucked in here. Now you can knot it if you want, which oh, I'm just going to do. Thank you. I thought it was cute. 
I'm just gonna do this cute little knot here. Otherwise, like I said, you can use hot glue, but I don't like it because then you see it afterwards. So there. And then just cut these two little strands off in the back. Just like that, and then you'll never see it. So here's the front, and there it's all done. And then I have all these smelly things, this lilac breeze, and I got this garden rain and pineapple lily. So I don't know, whatever color you want to put on here, I've used these before, they work really well. So I'm just gonna choose this color. Orange? Yeah, it's kind of like orange. You don't like orange? Mm -mm. Okay, Emma doesn't like I that like one. The lavender one. <laughs> Emma wants this lavender one, so we'll use this. So I've used a couple of these already, so I'm just gonna place the nicer looking ones in here. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Yeah, it does. It smells like oh, lilacs for my birthday. So we're just gonna do three at the top here, and then I'm gonna show you one last thing. When I sell these, I put them in a bag, and I make it look even nicer. So when people smell it, you can totally smell how wonderful that smells. But yeah, I do like the purple a lot better. So here's this one, and then you just wanna add a little tea light to it. And I got these tea lights from, I think, the dollar store, too. But you're just using little tea lights like this, and you just put it in the back here. Um, you don't have to... Sorry. Sorry. You don't have to burn this. You can just leave it on your counter and let it sit. I just... It's just... I mean, the smell is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, three feet away from me, and I can smell it. It's absolutely amazing. So that is how you do that. So I'm going to do the same thing with this last one. This family is everything, but it's the same exact process. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the transfer tape on, put it on here, and then I'll show you what I do with these two. Like I said, I think I might just take like a black magic marker and make a little line on it so you get a little bit of, you know, different color in here. But it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna put some jute around the top and then I'll put the smelly thing on here. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Oh my goodness, guys, I love how these turned out. I created a few more of these tea light votive holders since I finished this video. I finished them up by using some jute around the top, added some wax melts, then put them into Dollar Tree cellophane bags and wrapped them with some more jute to finish it off. For the yellow B1, it just needed a little bit something extra, so I used a black Sharpie marker to line some black lines on the bees. Just made it stand out a little bit more. I hope you learned something new, and I hope you will create your own tea light votive holders. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that yellow bell icon, and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Happy crafting, everyone!